Side note before I start, everything I'm talking about in the video I will link down in the description. This allows you to have no video editing, upload directly to social media with professional multi-track audio. This video is for anyone with an audio interface with digital output ports. Uh, they come in the form of SPDIF outputs or optical. This is not for analog RCA outputs. First and foremost, you're going to need an audio interface. I'm using the Focusrite 18i8, and once again, this has digital outputs. The Scarlett 2i4, 2i2, and Solo have analog outputs. They look like this. This tutorial is for people with the 2i6 or later Focusrite models and those with interfaces with an SPDIF output. Next, we'll need a digital to analog converter box. The USB power cord is included. We'll need it for just that. Digital and analog signals don't get along, and because aux cords are analog, what we will be using to plug into the phone, we need to convert the signal. Next, we'll need our SPDIF coaxial cable, which will go from the interface output to the converter box. We will next need our RCA to aux cable for the converter box output to the SC4 input. There are two RCA cable ends. They are color-coded along with the converter box outputs. Next, we need our Rode SE4 dongle to convert our TRS tip to a TRRS tip, which is readable by most phone formats. As long as you have a cable that converts like this, it should work. Rode is just a specific brand. Lastly, we need our phone dongle to plug into the phone. This is for an Android Pixel 2, but iPhone dongles will work as well. Now we need to plug everything together. First, we're going to take the SPDIF cord from the interface SPDIF output to the converter box coaxial input. Next, you'll need to plug the converter box into the computer. You should see a red light come on. Next, we'll take the RCA cables from the converter box, the colors coordinate, white to white and red to red, to the road dongle. Lastly, we'll connect our road dongle to our phone dongle. And now you're ready to plug your phone in. I'm using a Pixel 2, which is an Android. Some Androids have external microphone capabilities and some don't. Just do a quick search to find out. If everything is done correctly, there should be an external microphone option that appears in the left-hand corner of the screen. Click this and choose external microphone. Once again, that's specifically for Pixels. For iPhones, you should be able to directly connect without choosing any settings. Just make sure it's on airplane mode to avoid unnecessary feedback. We tested this on an iPhone 7 Plus and it worked out. 